Hi guys, this is Desiree of the Succulent Therapy. We are back again with another video and today we are going to transfer this beautiful, beautiful string of pillows right here. Uh, they've been on this spot for almost six months so I think it's time for us to transfer this one because they're really crowded in there and then I just want to multiply them because I love this hanging thing right here so as you can see we have different kind of leaves right here some of them are green some of them are uh, coloring up like this one right here you can see it is flat but it has some colors and some lines we can also see some of the smaller chubby ones so it really depends on how you take good care of this one this has a bloom like this one i'll take a good uh, picture of it and flash it on the screen uh, this is a really really beautiful uh, succulent with the violet tiny little blooms so if you want a hanging plant that is really really easy to grow this is a really good plant for you so okay so before we transplant it before we proceed to that one i just want to talk about its care a little bit so uh, as i said i've been with this plant for almost a year uh, but they've been on this spot for six months only. I, I kind of transferred them uh, last six months. So uh, the watering of this one, they love rainwater so much. So as you, as you can see, if you take good care of this plant and give them a lot of water, they can be as long as they can be. And then if you uh, expose them to the uh, sun, that they need they can turn um, violet i have some pictures of them when they are still small and uh, i kind of uh, do some experiment and then um, starve them with water for almost uh, 20 days and this is what they look like so as you can see if you don't give them a lot of water they can get some tiny leaves as you can see right here this is one of the example the leaves can be tiny uh, they can be colorful, but if you give them uh, so so much water, they can be also beautiful. They can uh, the stems here, like this one right here, can be long. And if you expose them to the right amount of sunlight, they can be as colorful as you want them to be. So the important things for this one. Uh, whether you want to stress them or to keep them small is to give them a lot of sunlight but if you live in the uh, hotter areas or the you have a hotter temperature uh, this can be placed on a indirect sunlight also as long as uh, they can receive uh, indirect sunlight for at least um, three hours something like that for or within the day if you are going to ask if this one can be placed on the shade, yes, they can be, but expect that the leaves are going to be green. They don't have color as much as uh, they can have. And then the leaves are going to be flat, like this one right here. Uh, you can see the difference. I'll take a picture and then flash it on the screen. You can see the difference of this one. Uh, this doesn't receive enough sunlight because it's been... Uh, covered up with the uh, other leaves you can see it right there you can see that this one is flat it doesn't have some color on it while this one right here it is exposed from the uh, to the direct sunlight you can see that they have this purplish and reddish color and uh, you can also see right here that this one is a little bit uh, flat but it has some colors on it so that's the thing that you want to remember or you want to keep in mind when you are taking good care of a string of pillows. They need a lot of sunlight so that they can be colorful. Okay, so let's proceed with the transplanting. So as you can see, I have this pot right here. I am not going to disturb a lot of the roots so we may end up uh, removing the roots and then placing them in here so I have my substrate right here and that will be good okay <laughs>
ended up having three pots right here obviously i can go a little more than that but i prefer to keep them like this you can see that they are so so cute when they are full and you can also see some of the long stems right here so uh, i may hang this one once they are uh, established again for now they can stay on this shade right here in order for them to heal a little bit because we disturb the roots as you can see i did not trim the roots because i don't want to um, stress the plant that uh, heavy so i did uh, leave the roots as is and i just added some soil on it uh, basically you can uh, do other process like you can remove the roots and something like that but for me i don't really uh, have some pests on my uh, on my root ball i don't see some root aphids in there so i just uh, get the old soil and then i just added it so with some new ones so uh, one thing that i want to say is when you want to propagate this one you can uh, have them as cuttings and they can root in uh, a little faster so uh, since this one is a little bit long we are going to cut this this one and plant it to another pot oh forgive my messy table right there so as i said a while ago we are going to propagate some of the stems right here and this is how i cut some of the stems i go a little higher on this part on the uh, upper part so that i may have some long stems right here in order for it to stick in the ground so i'll go a little bit higher and cut it right there so we are left with this one right here uh, in time it will produce uh, some babies on this side right here you can get a lot of babies on this side that side if you cut it like this so we are going to do that on the other side we are going to keep it a little bit higher and then cut it right there and boom that's done so this one can be propagated and then we are going to plant this one in fact we'll just do it wait I'll just get some soil okay here is our soil when you are propagating through cuttings you might want to have a dry soil in order for your uh, succulent wound not to rot because if it is wet uh, this one can absorb a lot of water since it is an open wound and it may rot so we are going to stick this one right here you can also uh, get rid of the other stems like uh, this one right here or the other leaves in order for you to have a longer stems for the root because uh, this one this right here will be the place where the roots will uh, come out so we are going to remove this part right here like that and then we are going to stick it right there and then um, move it around a little bit move it around and then just like that so you are just going to wait for another week in order for this one to have some roots and you are good to go we are going to do that on the other side and then stick it on the ground or in the pot i mean uh, then do the same thing okay so you are left with this one you can see that these are a little growth so if you want to plant this one it can be also so that's how you propagate this plant right here. Uh, anyway, they give a lot of offsets quickly if you water them often. So it is really, really nice to have this one as a hanging plant because they are so beautiful and uh, they can be as colorful if you treat them right. Okay, so yeah. Um, I think that ends our video. Let's take a look at our other plants quick. So, um, I think I did a video. My my short video is about me watering this uh, clump succulents right here. 
um, I thought I said that on my other videos that I do that on my established plants like uh, when I have that plant for almost a year already I do the um, the soaking in order for me to get rid of the ants and things like that and to saturate the soil because I really water uh, 10 days interval and uh, at that time they are really really dry and it's so hard to water them so I just uh, put them in a bucket and then let them sit in there for almost five minutes and then I'll lift them up and they're good to go so yeah my other plants are doing well I just watered uh, yesterday or the other day yeah and they are still wet so we are going to wait again in order for this to dry maybe after 10 to 15 days before we water again so yeah um, that's how we keep our plants watered right here so anyway thank you so much guys for watching with me or for being um, with me this day and thank you thank you so much guys for watching i'll see you in the next one bye